as we talked about earlier, uh, peer editing, you look for many different things. But what is peer editing? So this worksheet that you see here is in the folder in your actual narrative folder, and I want you to open it up. So push pause and come, come back with this worksheet already opened up. Now that you're back, we're going to talk about what is peer editing. Well, I think we've already done that actually in the previous editing lesson. So I want you to think back and think about what you learned in the previous lesson. And if you need to go back and watch it again, you can push pause on this one and do so now. So now I want you to, on your document, I want you to ask, answer the question, what is peer editing? So remember, you have to make that a copy of that document before you can do it. So these three questions I want you to answer for yourself right now. What do you look for when you're editing a piece? What are some of those errors that you look for? Are you looking for word choice? Or are you looking for other things? Are you looking for sentence structure? Or are you looking for something else? And the last thing is, how do I edit a piece? Do I do everything for them? Do I add, put everything in and don't let the writer know? What do you do? So now looking down, once you have those questions answered, we're going to look at the actual, there's a, another example where you're going to practice your edit. Because before, I edited the piece, and now it's your turn. So this paragraph right here, highlighted in blue, is the paragraph that you'll be working with and editing for practice. Now remember, how do I put, how do I edit? What do I do? Well, we, remember we need to add in comments. And if you forgot, I'm going to make you learn for yourself and go back to the lesson before and see if you can figure it out. So remember, push pause on any of these lessons and always go back and forth. Use what you know. Also, I'd like you to look at this number six, this comments. Adding in a compliment to a writer can give them great success and, and make them feel like they're worthy. Because sometimes if they struggle with punctuation uh, and they have many, many, many errors, it can also always kind of get overwhelming. So adding in a comment that is a compliment in there as well can get, leave the writer feeling a little bit better about themselves. So there's some comments that you can add in. Comments such as, I'm going to show you by adding a comment. I'm going to say... Your topic sentence really lets me know what or where the story is headed. So that's a compliment that might give the reader a little bit more. Or if you look around and you see a good word usage, um, and they use a great word. Let's chasing is not a great word, but it's not a bad word. So I might add in this word really shows me what was happening rather than telling. So remember, editing is looking for what you had said earlier. You would answer the questions in the previous lesson. You learned what editing is and what you're looking for. But again, just adding in a comment can make your writer feel a little bit better. So now your task is to read the above paragraph. You're going to highlight and leave comments to make corrections. And remember, don't do everything for them. Let them know they have spelling errors. Let them know their punctuation is, is off or they might have grammar usage. Don't make the corrections for them. And remember, don't eat their cupcake.